Welcome to the Cranbrook Art and Science on the Go Sparking Innovation video tutorial series designed to help you and your students continue programming with the Arduino. This tutorial will cover how to prepare the Grove Starter Kit. This assumes that you have already installed the basic Arduino software and ensure that you can upload a sample program. If you haven't, please see our previous Arduino tutorial. Let's take a look at the Arduino again. You will notice that there are small labeled openings or headers along the side of the Arduino board. These are called pins and provide a way to connect sensors and actuators to your Arduino. You may advance to the point when you want to use these pins directly to connect electronics using small jumper wires and a breadboard. However, for beginners, we recommend using the included board from the Grove Starter Kit to simplify connecting components to the Arduino. Boards that fit on top of the Arduino to extend its functionality are known as shields. The Grove Shield has protruding pins that allow it to be connected to the Arduino. It will only fit one way, so carefully match the pins to the Arduino's headers, then gently press the shield on, making sure that none of the pins have slipped out. Nothing should be forced, but the pins should be firmly seated. The shield can be removed, but we recommend storing the shield and Arduino connected together as it keeps the pins from being bent or misshapen. Connectors atop the shield are also known as pins. Several of the pins on the top are labeled with D and a number. These are digital pins that provide basic on-off functionality. We can use these to connect components such as a push button, touch sensor, LED light, buzzer, LCD display, relay, or servo motor. Four of the pins in the front are labeled with A and a number. These are analog pins that can sense a range of values, such as a rotary angle sensor or dial, temperature sensor, light sensor, or sound sensor. Each component in the Grove kit is installed on a board with its name on it and a connector to plug in a wire. The wires can only be plugged in one way. Match the groove of the connectors with the wire to plug in a wire to each of the components. Pins and wires could be color coded to show which way they plug in as well as which components are digital and which are analog. This will be described in a further tutorial. The LED bulb will need to be installed in the board labeled LED socket kit. Choose one of the LED bulbs from the bottom of the kit. We recommend red or blue as they will glow more brightly than the green LED. The LED will only work one way. The longer wire sticking out of the LED should be inserted into the socket closer to the positive side and the shorter wire into the other socket. The base of the LED bulb is also flattened on the side with the shorter wire which matches with the flattened circle printed on the board. Once you have the LED installed, wires connected to all your components, and the shield placed on top of your Arduino, you can return the components to the kit for students to use. Sparking Innovation is a program of Cranbrook Art and Science on the go, with funding provided by the Herbert H. and Grace A. Dow Foundation. Please visit science.cranbrook.edu for more information.